this next one here comes... Uh, who, who is that from? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Nathan. That was from Nathan in Texas. Okay, thanks, Nathan. This next one I'm going to uh, read as anonymous, even though they enclose their name, because I kind of don't want to possibly get them in any trouble. Sure. For this. this is a really fun one. Uh, from anonymous, last week you guys were discussing horrible marketing pitches, mm-hmm. and that hit way too close to home. All right. Uh, I work uh, social media digital marketing for a pretty big chain of convenience stores, and about a year or so ago, we were tasked with relaunching our proprietary brand of energy drink. Okay. Jeff Gerstman once drank one during an episode of the Persona 4 Endurance Run, and I played a clip of him reviewing the drink during a meeting. Oh, boy. The Suits then decided to launch the entire campaign based on targeting gamers. And here are some of the nightmares that were conceived. Feel free to read these out loud so I can audibly hear you all cringe. I'd also like to point out that I am the only person on our marketing team that is under 40 and I will die and I die on the inside every day. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, I think I'm just going to I'm, I'm going to. So the framing device here, basically, uh, there's this initial like, here's what we're, we're going to do presentation. And then there's a series of headlines and explanations for those headlines for the ads. Okay. I think I'm going to, we're going to So go, we have an overview and then basically headline explanation. Headline so I'll give you the overview yeah. and I think we'll trade headlines sure. after that. Got it. So, all right. All right. Alex Navarro, uh, next up, Alex Navarro has a pitch for our new campaign on uh, X Energy Drink. Name's still being worked no, out. No, uh, we're calling it Schlock. I think we're going to call it Energy Drink Station. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, what, uh, that's what we're going with. What's your, uh, what Alex? We, what we have here is Joker Concepts, the target being gamers. Okay, gamers are big. The benefit, improved performance via increased reaction time, endurance, focus, and well-being. The, the objective. Well-being? The objective, to talk to gamers quote-unquote, in their language, with their attitude. I love it. The challenge, impediment to developing, quote-unquote, Joker character personality is that he is already an established iconic video game villain. Wait, so you, I'm sorry, Alex, you I'm were literally he, talking about the Joker. I think they, I think we are. They, okay. Are they saying it's got to look like the Joker? I'm not like 100% sure about that. Pull off Joker-esque Well, quality? here's the positioning. Okay. Positioning, game on! is a line from an iconic movie, Wayne's World, featuring a couple mm. of geek guys who right. fit our demo psychographic profile. Uh, this is the only true, sense yeah. I'm okay yeah. with. So psychographic far. is a good word. The line made it into the cultural lexicon and has the double meaning of underscoring the stamina boost that mad energy provides. Wait, so it's called mad energy? I don't know. I've never heard of that brand before. All right, so I'm going to read this first headline. Wait, hold on. Game on, Alex. Game on, Vinny. Oh, here we go. All right, first headline. <laughs> and party on, Garth. Boom shakalaka. Explanation. It's a gamer battle cry signifying peak performance from NBA 2K. Okay. Uh, which, no, it's not from NBA 2K, but go on. It's NBA Jam, right? Yeah, right. All right. Maybe uh, you want to take the next oh, one. Oh, sure. Uh, the headline. Uh, here, here's the pitch. Nectar of the gods. Heroes, lovers, warriors, casters, stealthers, healers, rezzers, et cetera, et cetera. It implies the product endorsement by players of all types of characters. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, Jeff, why don't you give us the next one? Okay, here's my headline. The meek shall inherit the earth, but capture the golden chocobo? Chocobo. Chocobo. What's that? It's a Final Fantasy thing. Oh. I can't tell if you're playing the part of the presenter of the, in the I'm pitch. I'm playing the part of someone who doesn't know what the hell okay. that is. Okay. Not a chance in Nether Realm. What? That's what a different thing. That's, is, yeah, there's that's a lot of Kombat, there's a lot of right? fucking word salad happening there. But. Okay. And that's the, the explanation is that's a familiar saying recast in gamer speak that underscores product empowerment and performance benefits. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, Wait, what's the fami- oh the the meek shall inherit the earth? Yeah. Okay, got it. But you're just saying that. Yeah. I can't even fucking wrap my head around this. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going. Next one headline: Side effects include heart like a lion. Mind like a steel trap, hands like a paint mixer. Why? Wait, why is the paint mixer the hand thing? Here's the explanation for that. Even hands that shake speak to products' potency. I don't get it. That so. seems like a, you're making someone sick. The paint, like I a paint mixer, is like the thing that would it shakes. shakes it up. And oh, then ha- oh, hands okay. that shake. Okay, get no it? one should desire hands, their own hands, to do but that's that. That's a positive. Okay, yeah. Hey, guys, I've got one that's going to knock your socks off. Mm -hmm. Banner headline. Because you've got worlds to conquer. Electrospheres to explode. Electrospheres. That's great. That's specific. I live on an electrosphere, uh, and I live a psychographic lifestyle. Yes. Uh, Creatures to cleave, tunes to trash, 
noobs to nurture. To trash? So it's alliteration, man. You got to keep doing well, what it. What does that mean? Tune. You're like, hey, what's your tune? Roll your tune. Fuck your cartoons is what I'm saying. No. Is that like when they kill that little baby shoe cartoon in Roger Rabbit? Yes, that's what he was going for. He's going to trash that little baby What's the shoe. explanation for this one, Vinny? Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. Are you not getting it? It's a familiar saying recast in gamer speak, alluding to typical tasks and stamina required to complete them. Supplied by, I'll just add an article here, The Offering. Yeah. I've read lease contracts that make more sense than this. What else we got? Uh, Jeff, why don't you give us this next one? This is a good one. What is uh, What is, is you just, well, just, just, You'll see it. Go. You, don't, you don't have to understand it. OOE is not an option. What's OOE? Of course, OOE being an acronym for out of energy slash endurance in, in gamer, gamer code. <laughs> right. It sounds like Cartman wrote all this shit. There's more, <laughs> yeah, guys. We're not done. What's the next one? Ding! Okay. I understand what that is. It's a sound indicating one's game has been taken to the next level. Uh, and your GTG. Obviously, GTG meaning good to go. Suggests the offering is an essential uh, part of the pregame preparation. Jeff. This I, is fucking all terrible. Yeah. This is fucking a nightmare. <laughs> With this, I shall reduce you to ash and sell you as spice. What the fuck? I feel like Someone's this a Frank been, like, Herbert poorly fan, translated. Apparently. Well, why would you write that, Jeff? Because taunting is rampant in gameplay and underscores the aggressive swagger that offering I, provides. Yeah. Yeah, great. That's cool. Hey, guys. Yeah, what? You lag, you lose. That's just true, but why would you say that? What's Because lag, lag mean? means slow reaction time. <laughs> that is the worst fear of players. Offering as means of maintaining peak performance. Uh, I've got one off top of the dome here. All right, bring uh, it to me. I, uh, uh, taste sweet like victory. Oh. Taste is important to gamers. I've heard that. As important as winning edge that the offering provides. All right. Yeah. Let no. me lay this one. Okay. On Let's hear this comes from Jeff. Don't bring a crowbar to a Warhammer fight. That's okay. Messages don't settle for less than Joker. Joker mad energy. Than Joker mad energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> the energy drink that'll <laughs> explode your electrospheres. We considered selling it on the battery aisle. Because, that could work because that's it not speaks the worst. to the offering as the ultimate power. That could, I, I, you I know, could, I could see that's that. That's the least offensive one so far. I, that's that's okay. Well, okay. Here, was... let me reoffend you all with this last one. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's bring us back down. Early. Game tested, mother disapproved. Uh, She'll fucking why, hate why, you. Why, why would that be popular? Well, as you know, uh, scientifically speaking. Rebelliousness and danger. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Rebelliousness and danger <laughs> are an irresistible appeal to players. I don't have to go to the, the Webster's. I'll on tell that you one. right now, that's not a fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we considered selling it on the battery aisle. I could see that, like, on a poster on a subway sure. with, like, a dr- And again, drink. of all of these, that is by far the least offensive. No, I probably also the least snappy slogan, but hey. But, but also, it's the only one that doesn't reference anything that related to video games. Yeah. So, like, congratulations. I don't know. I, so marketing is a nightmare. It is. And, and I bet energy drink marketing is a special brand of nightmare. What's your, all right, three, two, one, Jeff Backlar, what's your energy drink slogan? My, for what? For this shit? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. That's great. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty I good. Mean, you that, can't do it. Three, I, I, I would, not fair. You're giving Alex time to think I, about it now. What's yours, Alex? Go. I, I would buy that energy drink. <laughs> it was just like a picture of you with the, like this fucking green news being like, I, I don't know. Uh, you be uh you'll either shit yourself or score. <laughs> Explanation. Uh meaning defecation is the ultimate sign of losing. <laughs> Defecating one's pants is the ultimate sign of of losing. It's like it's seventy two degrees inside your head all the time. <laughs> What's that That's, from? That's from brain candy. Yeah. Uh the explanation is it makes you feel like that it's seventy two degrees inside your head all the time. Oh no, I don't have I don't have an internet connection. Look this up. Now you don't need it. Uh, mine is... Uh, yeah, what's yours, Vinny? Oh, that sucks. What is it? It tastes like shit, but it's got a fucking Titanfall code in it. <laughs> 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 but it'll get you to the battle arena. Hey, do you remember the Coke? Yeah, I forgot this. Do you remember the pop-up fucking Cokes? Was it Coke or Pepsi? Where the, you, you snap the can and a fucking mechanism would pop up with a little prize in it? What? No, I think you just invented that. No, it was a real thing. Vinny. You'd snap the can and inside the Show thing... Show me. Inside the thing was a fucking like spring that would pop up. Well, with, now, like, now I know what our podcast image is this week. I think what? it had like a dollar bill or a code. Is this it didn't something... have a dollar bill. You can't do that legally. But I don't think they were real drinks. I don't think it was a drink. 
Uh, why? I think it was just a can that had good weighted can that had shit in it. Alex, I just don't. Know I, I don't. Don't buy cans of shit. <laughs> it had real shit in it. That was the slogan. Explanation. Drink no. shit. Get fucked. <laughs> no, it's got. That's real. my slogan. Uh, I don't know what I would. I don't know what I would look for. There it is. Oh my god, it's real. It was a real thing, and there's a real commercial for it. So it says magic can. <laughs> really, Stop it! You guys this don't is, remember this? this? Can we make animated? This GIFs was says our, our banner it's, image. It's really money coming out it's of the really coke. Money. Oh look, I got, I got a dollar. <laughs> I know you can't see it they or were, hear it. Time out. They were rolling up dollar bills <laughs> and putting them into Coca Cola, <laughs> and then people would get surprised with money instead of fucking black. Well, to water? be fair, this was probably during a period when cans of coke cost less than a dollar, so that actually would be a good. Thing. Oh yeah, they I mean they cost them. How do you? How are they making it? Like you would know right away. There's no soda in that can. But well, I think, if they waited a certain way, it might not. You might not. No, but you I think you could win like a hundred dollars. I think it was like real money. It was like real cash, baby. Real cash. I didn't there's, think you could do that. There's an unopened Time, magic can. Times somewhere. were different. In yeah. the 90s. You realize what that means? What? That's somewhere so, someone's holding on to a magic can that's unopened. No, because they had the recall because people would because the shit would shoot out. The money was. Going right into people's Eyes. nasal cavities, <laughs> directly oh, into their brain. I'm gonna drink, I'm watch me fucking shotgun this thing, <laughs> like the pressure in it, the mechanism. Just blew your hand off. Oh man, I can't believe you guys don't remember that. It was so dumb. Uh this looks. Yeah. Hmm. So anyway, marketing is hell. We we can. We, this is well established at this point. Uh, I feel for anyone that has to work in it. Uh, it's got to be soul searing, and uh, I especially feel for anyone that has to endure it. That I, is I knew a worse. copywriter, or still do know a copywriter who she's no longer in yeah. the marketing game. I think she worked for Saatchi, uh, not for Versace. Saatchi and Saatchi. Yeah, uh, yeah. You it's gotta, a mess. You got to write stuff. A lot of bad marketing comes out of everything. Some really clever marketing sometimes. Yeah, it's rare. And actually it's it's why I don't like when I see people talking about like great advertising, I don't like my the bile doesn't start coming up my throat because believe it or not, it's possible to do that shit well. It's just that almost no one does. It's little, very hard. Little, yellow, different. Yeah. That's all right. Like that's a, that's a silly that's a silly slogan that somebody had to write. You're talking about my pee? What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, it is a little yellow, and it is was, very that different. That was Tylenols, right? A uh, no, Excedrin? No. Mellow yellow. Mellow yellow. No, it was not. It's it's Nuprin. Minions. Nuprin. Is it Nuprin? It's Nuprin. Nuprin. I only know that from Wayne's I don't Wayne's think Nuprin's still around. Right, I only know that from Wayne's World. It was too different. It was the black and white commercial where a guy put, oh. dropped the two yellow yeah. tablets. Those were in color. Oh, is that why that's, is that why that's seared into my memory? Yeah, because from Wayne's World. Uh, run for the border. Not a good one. Not a good slogan. It does, yeah. Have it your way? Okay. Live Moss, I think, was more, more catchy. <laughs> yes. The fucking dog, though. That, yeah, well, no, you know, the worst that dog was, made a lot of money. What was the Del... Oh, no, Taco Time. You know Taco Time? It's like a Wester, West Coast uh, taco joint. I'm not aware of Taco Time. No, I'm not aware of Taco I, Time. I swear to God, every I think the ta- slogan is was... Isn't it always? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, was it feed the crave? The, was White Castle feed the need? Is that White Castle? No, I don't know. Crave the no. That was that was the slogan for speed. <laughs> feed oh, the right. crave. Need for speed. No, need no, just speed, just like speed. the drug. The drug. Yeah, Adderall. <laughs> uh, yeah, Burger King's have it your way. What's McDonald's? Gotta love it. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm loving it. Oh, uh, okay. Please, no. someone love it. Wendy's. <laughs> our hamburgers are square. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Wendy's. I don't know. Yeah. Wendy's doesn't have one. But they had one at one point. I don't remember what it is. Del Taco, you're out of options. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, I kind of They agree are the with, number sorry. two Mexican quick service in fucking chain in okay. the United sorry. States. They, I don't want them to steal what's, Jack in the Box's slogan. Taco, Jack in the Box, you're out of options. What's Taco Bell's one now? I thought it was Live Moss. Live Moss? Oh, yeah. so they got rid of Run for the Border? Yeah, oh, that's a long been time like ago. a decade. Oh, okay. Uh, what Too else? many people were running into the border fence and electrocuting themselves. Was it, was one, very, it was really tragic. There was one, uh, I th- Bud Light or something, where the the slogan was so upsettingly simple and stupid. Bud Light? Drink! Yeah. I think it was just like, right now... <laughs> Some, sure. So, a, and they just played right now. <laughs> right now, you could be drinking. <laughs> no, 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 I think KFC was uh, called so good. For really? Yeah. I thought, yeah. And then legally, they had to change that. <laughs> KFC's big coup was going from Kentucky Fried Chicken to like KFC, right? Because they were like, we Kentucky can't like, really stop associating. I think chicken us. was like, we can't really. We can't. I don't think we can legally call this chicken anymore. I think we crossed that. Rubicon. It's very Kentucky, though. <laughs> Super Kentucky. 